Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of my U new YouTube vlog show for 2018, EML 77 TV. I am your host, Eric Lima. What is going on? I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful day, and um, hope you are having a wonderful day as well. Um, it's time to make my Royal Rumble 2018 predictions, folks, and picks. That's right, um, who I'm going to pick to win, and who I believe, you know, sometimes, you know, a lot of people saying, oh, this guy should win because of this, that, and that, and uh, which is fine. And I make, I make my picks too, and, you know, sometimes, oh, I want this guy to win, but I pick this guy to win because of, you know, that situation. So, here we go. The Royal Rumble card is right here. You know, you notice I kept, do the kickoff shows as well. 30-man uh, Royal Rumble matchup. Uh, don't know who's going to win that one, but I'll give them my pick. 30 women Royal Rumble match. First time ever. I can't wait for that. That's the match I'm going to be looking forward to is uh, the 30 women Royal Rumble, Royal Rumble match because a lot because the Royal Rumble's brought a lot of surprises and everything else. So it'll be great to see Universal Title on the line Triple Threat match Lesnar versus Kane versus Strowman Lesnar the defending champion WWE World Title on the World Heavyweight Title on the line in a handicap match is AJ Styles defends against Kevin um, Sami uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens Raw Tag Title on the line. Uh, the team of Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins, the new tag team, the tag team champions, will go up against the bar that's Sheamus and Cesaro. Uh, SmackDown Live tag title on the line: The Usos versus Gable, uh, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin in a two out of three falls match. Um, the kickoff is the Balor Club. That will be Gallows and Anderson because I think Finn Balor will be in the Royal Rumble match. Uh, will go up against the Revival that's Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder. So those two will continue the robbery from Raw 25. The Cruiserweight um, division will have a six-man tag. The Masked Marvels of Kalisto, Lince Dorado, and Grand Matalik go up against TJP, that's TJ Perkins. Um, gentleman Jack Gallagher and Drew Gulak. Uh, I just defeated anti-Semitism Gulak. You know? That Chikara match with a 24-7 hardcore match was really funny. And Game Gulak was involved. Well, that was really cool. And finally, Bobby Roode versus... Who is going to answer the open challenge for the United States Heavyweight title? Let's get let's get right down to brass tacks, shall we? We're going to get going here. I'm just pull up my pen. There we go. Very annoying. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 30-man Royal Rumble match. Who do I pick to win it? Hmm. Very, very interesting choices that a lot out there. Um... Uh, my dark horse will be Finn Balor to win it. But, but we're going to go, and I think he deserves a shot uh, at WrestleMania. I'm going to go, um, my pick will be Shinsuke Nakamura. That's right, the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. I think he's going to use his craftiness, you know. One thing I know about the Japanese when it comes to everything, they're very, very smart and wise, including wrestling. They're very smart. Who do I pick as a surprise some a surprise entrance. Well, I would would not be surprised if somebody said the Undertaker gets involved in this thing. Goldberg and Undertaker well, could be Sting. I'm I'm gonna go out in the dark. My dark horse surprise would be Sting. You never know. You never know. I want you know a surprise is somebody you would you would at least expect to be in the Royal Rumble. I'm picking Sting. Or uh, I'm picking Sting. So I got a weird reason. I got a weird feeling. Somehow Sting is gonna show up out of nowhere. Yeah. So, but who do I want to? Uh, so that's my surprise. Thirty woman, thirty woman Royal Rumble match for the very first time. Well, I'm looking at this situation and I'm going. Let's see who can, who I want to win this thing. You know, a lot of people say Nia Jax is the um, the he um, no pun intended the heavy favorite going in this thing. Uh, but Oscar is too. So you know, a couple of favorite and. Um, I'm going to pick Asuka. Asuka never lost a match, but, you know, an elimination does not count as a pinfall loss. So, Asuka's got that momentum going. So, I believe Asuka may end up winning this thing. But, who I pick as surprises? Well, there's two surprises I'm hoping. One, Kati Sane from NXT. As she won the Mae Young Tournament, I think, I believe, in my opinion, she has a right to be involved at least... To be involved in the first one. If she is the first ever Mae Young Classic champion, I believe she, she deserves to be in the first first ever uh, women's Royal Rumble match. And the other surprise, I'm hoping Molina. I'm hoping Molina. If, if she can go, that's great. And 
You know, I would not be surprised if Beth Phoenix somehow gets involved too. Trish Stratus, Tori, Candice Michelle. I don't know. I really don't know. Who's pregnant? Who's not? I don't know. This, I'm hoping Cody Sane or and or Molina uh, as as, uh, as a surprise. My dark horse surprise would be Cody Sane. That because because Cody Sane did win the Mae Young Classic. So who knows? Who knows? Remember, Rusev made his debut at the Royal Rumble, Royal Rumble match. It was in 2014, I believe, but did not get called up to the main roster until later on. So, who knows for sure? All right. Our Universal Title Online: Lesnar, Kane, and Strowman. The way Strowman's being, I'm picking him to win it. I'm picking Braun Strowman to win the Universal Championship. I'm picking Braun Strowman, yeah. I'm going out on a limb here, folks, with these picks, I'm telling you. All right, AJ Styles versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Handicap match for the WWE Championship. I'm picking Styles to retain, and I will tell you why. I think Kevin, you know, I think when Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens attempt to pin AJ Styles, they're not, they're not, they're going to be confused about who is going to be the champion. I've got a feeling egos are going to be in the way in that team. I have a weird feeling about this. It's is this old bad blood's gonna rise up between those two, and Styles will AJ Styles will probably take advantage of that situation. All right, Jason Jordan, Seth Rollins versus the Bar. I think Jason Jordan has really nipped it, you know, really gotten himself uh, nipped it in the bud this time. I mean, he, he's really he's really gotten uh he's really done did it himself this time, and because of Jordan's uh Jason Jordan's uh you know antics. I believe the bar will be the new tag team champions once again. I I, I personally believe the bar is going to take advantage, and that's when Jordan, Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins will fall apart. That's what I'm predicting right now um, for tomorrow's Royal Rumble. Okay, the Usos versus Chad Gable and Jumpin Benjamin and a two out of three balls, uh, three out of three balls, balls, <laughs> two out of three falls match. I'm picking Gable and Benjamin. It's time for them to win the belts. Usos have been a dominant champion for a long, long time, and I think it's about time that Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin win the gut, win the gold. That's, that's for sure. All right, Balor Club versus the Revival in the kickoff match. Who am I going to pick? Balor Club, Gallows and Anderson. Anderson with the hot Asian wife. Gallows with that mean, mean streak and attempt and the propensity of calling people nerds. I'm picking them to win it. That's I'm picking Gals and Anderson. And uh, oh, by the way, G Carl Anderson's hot Asian wife follows me on Twitter, which I'm very, very shocked. I was like, what? Must like must be the beat up John Cena meme she likes. You gotta remember that. Uh, the beat up John Cena memes. I remember the beat up John Cena. You know. You know. All right. So <laughs> I'm dead serious. And I'm like, wow. Okay. You know. She is pretty. She is very beautiful. So my hat's off to Carl Anderson. Getting at. All right, Kalisto, Lince Dorado, and Grand Matalik versus TJP. Gentleman Jack Gallagher and Drew Gulak. Hmm. You know the 205 Live is now going to be uh, now going to be open space because the firing of Enzo More um, due to the allegations of um, rape, but. The reason why he really got fired is because he did not inform the WWE brass of the, of the situation back in October. But because of the heat that's been heaped up on, on him for over the, over the past year or so, it, that was the final straw. WWE says, see ya, take a hike, don't come back. So Enzo Amore is gone. So that leaves, and ab he abdicated the Cruiserweight title because of it. So there'll be a general manager to deal with this Tuesday night. So there'll be a GM to deal with this Tuesday night. And, and, the, the decide the, the fate of the cruiserweight division. Well, who knows? You know, the kickoff show, they're probably going to announce it. I don't know. The plans could change. Anything can happen. That's right. Who's going to be the new GM? I don't know. But anyways, let's see. Who do I pick to win this matchup? I believe TJP is getting his little temper problems. So I'm going to go with Team Kalisto in this one. Team Team Kalisto. That's the team of Kalisto, Lince Dorado, and Grand Matalik. I think the Mask Marvels are going to win it. That, win that one. All right, U.S. Title Open Challenge: Bobby Roode versus who? 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 Who is going to um, challenge Bobby Roode? Rumor has it that Dolph Ziggler may end up coming back to challenge him and wanting his belt back. But 
who I, who, who would I think should deserve a shot to count? That's a good question. All right, now I'm picking Rude to win whoever comes out, but then again, hmm. All right, you know what? Hold up, hold up. Alright, here's the deal. Uh, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I'm thinking that whoever's not in the Royal Rumble should challenge Bobby Roode. And here's my pick to be the who. In the, the, I think Mojo Rawley will get a shot at the Universal title. That's who I'm picking to answer the call. Mojo Rawley. And if that's the case, then my pick will be Mojo Rawley to become the new United States champion. And then you get Zack Ryder, you get, you get all sorts of... Wh whoever's not in the Royal Rumble match and who did not... who didn't, Whoever did not declare themselves to be part of the Royal Rumble should be an open challenge. And I think Mojo Rawley may end up accepting it and winning the United States title. But again, until Zig unless Ziggler comes back, I think that's the I think that's one picking. So, anything can happen in this case. So, so... This is my, all right, as you know, um, these are my picks. This is my pick for the um, open challenge to challenge Bobby Roode. But Mojo Riley may end up winning it. You never know. So so that is, I'm going to show the picks once again. That way I can study them and all. So, all right, so six matches, three. That's nine matches altogether. So um, you can comment on your picks. So here we go. Um, that's it. That's all the time we have on this show, because I've got a 15-minute limit here uh, because of my new channel building up. And uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, I'll I'll see you on the next episode where I don't know what I'll what I'll talk about next. So so I'll see you guys later and uh, have a good day. Bye guys.